Welcome to Bull Street here in Charleston, South Carolina, one of the 60 that is actually flooded here uh, throughout the city. This actually isn't too bad at this point. I mean, it's, it's walkable. You can actually see where the road is. But you know what? It's one of the 60 streets that's closed, and occasionally we get into some heavy rain in through here. We've been under flash flood warnings today. We're under a tornado watch. Uh, and, of course, we have the tropical storm warning. The center, once it goes back over the water here, has a chance to redevelop. And how that occurs over the next 24 to 36 hours and where it then goes as it starts to move back to the north toward North Carolina is going to be a big deal for Charleston. If it goes over us or to the east of us, if it's developed, if it's got banding features, then we're going to get into heavy rain once again. And that is why we are worried about flooding right through the end of the week. Some of these processes in terms of flooding are long, agonizing things. Uh, but again, South Carolina is not the only state. We've got to go through North Carolina, Virginia, and eventually into the Northeast as they deal with a flood threat and severe weather threat today. Reporting from Charleston, South Carolina, I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori.